Good afternoon Spartans. Welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is based on the Mona Lisa project that we began a couple days ago. Uh, we are going to be focused on the selection tools. We are also going to incorporate a few of the textures and blending modes that we explored last week and we're going to put it all together and I think you'll find this project to be very enjoyable uh, and hopefully stress-free. So let's begin. So first you're going to want to go to my website and under the assignment page you're going to find the Mona Lisa makeover. So click on that and I apologize for the error message that you keep seeing. I do not know how to get rid of it. So what does it say here? It says the name, Mona Lisa Makeover. Uh, this is all about being creative using the following Photoshop functions, techniques, selection tools, and anything else that you've learned along the way. Do not introduce any techniques we have not been exposed to as a class. Also, I will be evaluating you on your use of selection tools, your blending techniques, filters, textures, and the overall creative altering of the famous Da Vinci painting Mona Lisa. I've also attached some of the layers that um, shows you that I'm expecting the same thing. Many, many layers to produce a creative result. And so here's one such result that I did earlier today but the one that I'm going to show on my uh, tutorial right now is going to be a little bit different. And that's kind of the nice thing about this. No two Mona Lisa makeovers will be the same. All right, so let me use the back browser here and let me go back to my lessons page. Then I'm going to go to my selection tools and custom texture and download the picture. So I'm going to right click, copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into Photoshop. So we're going to do Control N, first initial last name, underscore Mona Lisa makeover. Okay? Say OK and paste. All right, there she is. First thing I want to do is change the image size. So I'm going to go in here type in 6 for the width only. Height automatically changes as you know. Make sure the resolution says 72 and click OK. Alright, control 0 to bring it up front. First thing I like to do is duplicate the layer. Okay, I'm going to turn off the visibility of layer 1. You keep, I will keep that as a backup in case something goes terribly wrong with my copy here. Now you can name it Mona Lisa. I chose not to do that. Um, naming your layers for this uh, for this project isn't necessary, actually. So don't worry about that. All right. I think what I'll do first is go and add a layer above Mona Lisa, and then I have a greenish color, my foreground color. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that. And I'm going to blend over my layer of the Mona Lisa. So it gives it this really fun green tinge. And we've got the screen mode on there. I can change the opacity slightly. I think I'll do that. Now I'm thinking, well, maybe I can go into my render clouds mode. OK, you see that? can see it in the screen mode uh, barely and actually that's kind of what I want but I'm going to turn this off for now and now I'm going to go ahead and take my ellipse tool and I'm going to do control J control J as you saw will copy it that selection in this case the ellipse and it places it on its own layer what am I going to do next let's see I'm going to go ahead and change the color of just her head, saturate it, and let's see, maybe give it a nice pink. 
pink appearance. Okay, I'm going to click OK. What else could I do? Well, let me see. I can take my rectangular marquee, put a box around that selection, and do Control J. And so what happened there? Basically cut in half that ellipse. And now I can color that one independently. And that's why having layers is so important. And that way you can uh, work independently on different sections. I'm going to say OK there. And let's see. How about a blend mode? Oh, the silence is killing me. OK, so um, yeah, what the heck. Screen looks good. I might even put a drop shadow on that. The possibilities are endless, people. How about an inner shadow? No, how about bevel and emboss? And say OK. I'm going to merge those two layers. And let me see, maybe put that underneath. Terrific. OK, I'm going to take visibility off those two. And now I'm going to take my polygon lasso. Let me see what I can do here. I'm going to divide the screen and double click. So now I've got two halves. I'm going to do Control J. And you can see what happened. And I'm going to recolor this one. This is a lot of fun. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and do Control J on the entire layer. Now I'm going to just go ahead and uh, right click this and rotate 180 degrees. Hit return. I'm not done. Control T. Try perspective. Very cool. Again, I really have no idea where I'm going with this. It's sort of a free for all. And hit return. Let's try blending these two. See what's going on underneath. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Let's keep going. Take my lasso tool. And let's go into this layer. And make sure you know exactly what layer you're on at all times. OK, I'm just going to do a free form. Control J that one. You can see the result. I'm going to do Control T. And now I'm going to flip this one horizontally. And maybe right click and warp it. Whoa, very cool. So I can go on and on and on. And that's kind of what I would like you to do. And I would like you to work for an hour total. No more than that, but no less than that. And just keep going on and on. Explore those palettes, uh, sorry, those filter styles as I'm showing right now, and just be really creative. Get some really interesting uh, things going on. There is no right or wrong answer. It's just you working, exploring, and using the full hour to create a unique work of art. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. I'm going to flip this one, and let's see, flip it horizontally? Yeah. And then maybe Control T, make that smaller. Look at that nice blend right there. Uh, maybe I'll add a little more color here. Very good. Say OK. Take my ellipse, 
go in here and control U. Look at that. Again, possibilities are endless. And let me see, let me take, I can't stop. I'm having so much fun here. I'm going to do control T and let's see, bring her face over here. Okay, people, I think you get the idea of what I would like to see. Keep working, don't stop working, and you'll be surprised what you can make. Okay, guys, have fun, and can't wait to see your work. Thank you.